Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will derive the expressions for the mean vector and the covariance matrix of a posterior density of an unknown vector of an unknown vector x. So consider the linear model y equals y x plus w, where x is the unknown process and y is the observation vector observation vector w is the noise the prior density of x is p naught of mu naught bar comma sigma naught w follows a gaussian distribution with zero mean and covariance sigma square w i where i is the identity matrix with the uh, dimension n where n is the length of the vector y and then the likelihood function y that is y given x follows as a follow also follows a gaussian distribution with the mean phi x and variance sigma square w i so now our goal is to find the posterior distribution p of x given y actually to find the moments of this distribution p of x given y and from Bayesian parameter estimation, we know that when the first, when the prior density and the likelihood density are Gaussian distributions, the posterior density is also a Gaussian distribution. So, the posterior density p of x given y will have a structure, normal distribution uh, with the mean mu n or comma covariance sigma n. So, our goal is to find the expressions for mu n bar and sigma n, the covariance matrix sigma n, in terms of uh, the prior the prior mean mu naught and sigma naught and the variance sigma square and the linear the linear matrix I mean the linear transformation matrix pi. So now let us expand the the let us write down the exponent of this the exponential component of this distribution function that is mu x minus mu n bar transpose sigma n inverse x minus mu n bar and we are you compare this with the numerator of the base rule that is p of x given y equals p naught f x p of y given x divided by p of y so now we can compare this distribution with the product of the distributions p naught x and p of y given x that is the prior distribution and the likelihood function so now writing the exponential parts of this product we get exponential of minus x minus mu naught bar transpose sigma naught inverse x minus mu naught bar and multiplied with exponential of minus y minus phi times x transpose 1 by sigma square w y minus phi x now comparing the quadratic terms that is we get from the first function that is x transpose multiplied by sigma n inverse multiplied by x that is we have the quadratic term from the first function and the quadratic term from the second function is defined as x transpose mu sigma naught inverse x plus x transpose phi transpose by sigma square w into phi into x by sigma square w since these two uh, by comparing these two coefficients are the uh, we get the expression for the posterior covariance matrix that is inverse of posterior covariance matrix is equal to inverse of the prior covariance plus this function phi transpose phi by sigma square tablet. We use the expression for posterior covariance matrix and similarly comparing the linear terms in the two functions we get x transpose sigma n inverse sigma n inverse multiplied by mu n equal should be compared to 
x transpose sigma naught inverse mu naught bar plus x transpose. We get the first term as x transpose sigma naught inverse mu mu, mu naught bar multi, uh, plus x transpose phi transpose into y. That is phi transpose into y divided by this known as variance that is sigma. Hence, mu n bar the covariance the posterior mean vector is given by by transferring the covariance matrix onto the other side you get sigma n multiplied by sigma naught inverse mu naught bar plus phi transpose y by sigma square w. So, this is the expression for posterior mean vector. Thanks for watching.